Well, this is uh, one of the new Divicons from Wiesman. It's quite interesting. I was going to do this project as I've done with the others, buying in my ESB valves and building it all. And I was checking on the prices and all of a sudden Wiesman's prices on their Divicons has tumbled. So just a, I would say about 50% of the old price, maybe, maybe not quite that much. But this is a really nice Divicon as well. It's got an ESB mixer inside of it. It's got the controller mounted on the front of it here. In a very nice insulation box. The temperature gauges are no longer the isolation switches. They're actually uh, isolation valves. There's actually some isolation valves behind there. And uh, I'm very impressed. So now this is, uh, I don't have to build in anymore. I can just buy these in and strap them together that saves a lot of money for the customer because I haven't actually got to spend my time building it. I've only got to plumb them in. So the job itself, this was a 100, it's a few years old, I think it's four or five years old from, uh, from the memory. And uh, it was a bit of a, um, not the tidiest of installations, let's say that, had an old cylinder here as well. So we've popped a new heat pump ready cylinder in there. Um, the low loss header was here before but it had third party controls and no uh, common flow temperature sensor, no low loss header sensor. So when, when you have a boiler and it's on weather compensation and you get mixing going on inside your low loss header, which you're going to have if you have underfloor heating and radiators mixed together, you're always going to need to have, pretty much always gonna to need to have a low loss header, some hydraulic separation, and you're gonna get some mixing. So the temperature of water coming out of the the flow on the secondary side will often not be a match for the the boiler flow temperature so if the weather comp controller can't see this temperature it can't compensate by raising the flow temperature of the boiler to ensure the correct temperature on the output so you're going to get some pretty poor performance um, now on the 100 you can only have one mixed circuit and one unmixed circuit. I think you might be able to have two unmixed circuits. I'm not quite sure. It's the first time I've done it on a 100. I don't really fit 100s very often. Um, and the main reason is if I fit a 100, I've got to buy the extra controller, which isn't needed on the 200. Um, by the time I bought it and spent the extra time commissioning it, because it's so much harder to commission, it's actually more expensive than just buying the 200. So just buy the 200, you can have three mixed circuits. Then if you want them, this would have been much better with uh, two Divicons. Then we would have had proper control over the, uh, over the radiator circuit. So um, now the problem with uh, unregulated circuits or unmixed circuits is that we can't control them properly with the weather compensation in the boiler. Whatever temperature needs to be supplied to the mixing valve Oops. Yeah, whichever temperature needs to be supplied to the mixing valve in order for it to blend and to uh, give you the correct mix temperature, that temperature will always be the temperature that has to arrive at the unmixed circuit. And that may be higher uh, than the temperature required for it to follow its weather compensation curve. So you're going to get some overheating locally on that zone. Uh, now it's especially the case with underfloor heating on night setback when they want the radiators down really low at night time they're not going to be able to have it the only way they're going to be able to cope is to actually set it to frost program so this pump is not running at all and then really they're going to have a slow recovery in the morning so ideally we want two mixers on these systems it's if you've got really really high performing underfloor heating and really poor radiators it won't be an issue but if you've got really good radiators and poor performing underfloor then you're definitely going to have an issue and that's more common in my experience for the underfloor to be the standard 150 mil wide spacings and the radiators are normally all ready to run on a 1.4 curve so fairly low temperature heat pump ready in most most cases um, so on the underfloor heating here the, the customer wanted some third party control there's another manifold just through the other side of this wall. So this, uh, because there's no actuators on this, I've left the original uh, motorized valve on here so that it can be cut off. This is just for the kitchen. If the kitchen thermostat reaches temperature or they're not using the kitchen, they can just set the stat down a little bit. Um, 
and it will shut that, that valve. It will leave the other valve, the other side open. We've got the main living area uh, constantly controlled and there's a conservatory um, that they don't want to heat all the time, which is on another third party control. That motorized valve is defunct. I haven't taken it out yet. I've got to do another drain down that valve's coming out and the magna leak, guess what the magna leak's doing? It's leaking. So that's coming out as well. Don't need a magna leak. When I arrived, the bottom of the header was full of dirt where it's collected the dirt and the magna clean, the magna leak, could call it magna clean this time because it was clean, no dirt in there because it was in here. This was doing nothing except for leaking. So that's coming out. That's going to be another day and I've still got my D2 uh, discharge to connect down there. So that'll be done on another day. Um, but yeah, but it's been quite good fun putting this in. I've not done the 100 with a mixer before. I've done very few of these 100s at all. And uh, quite pleased with that. So customers really, really happy. They're gonna have proper control at last. Uh, they've been failing to control the heating system for the full four or five years that this system's been in so far. So uh, it'll be nice to make a change and have some comfort. So anyway, I hope that helps.